So let me ask you a question. What's it going to take for you to stop getting a verified result every single time that you send out your disputes? Well, here's the thing. You need to think outside the box, and that is exactly why I wrote this short book for you guys. Um, I actually recorded my audio and then transcribed it and edited it, and here we are. I just got everything up online for you, and it's 100% free okay so i'm going to post the link down in the description very simply open up the description and click on the link and it's going to take you right here all right so i will show you um a little bit of what you're going to see inside but i am so excited i am so excited because i'm going to help you break down those walls and think outside the box all right so if we take a look at the ebook that you are going to get access to, you'll see that it has 28 pages. And um, basically, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Kristen. And one of my passions is helping clients achieve financial freedom by cleaning up their credit. And I realized that so many consumers have stuck credit repair in a little box and need to break free from it. This is the reason why I created this short ebook for you. Okay, so that is the introduction. Happy reading. Click on the link and it's going to take you directly to this page, all right? So you need to make sure that you confirm your email to receive the download link. And then obviously it's going to take you to the download. And um, you also want to check out the bottom of it because there are a ton of links that you're going to want to click on and check out, all right? Now, I do have something else in here for you of course. Um, what I did was I created the digital dispute workflow where it's a step by step formula, basically to creating your dispute. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right. So I will tell you that this is not free. Um, obviously there's an upsell. Okay. So this is only 15 bucks, whatever, but let me show you how this works. So you know that we've been working on breaking down the dispute formula and, um, just trying to figure out how to have a better strategy to get your results, right? So I want to show you two different ways to look at this. So this is simply nine steps where you choose yes or no. This is only for charge-offs, foreclosures, repos. Um, it's not for, uh, it can also be for short sales, uh, student loans. It is not for collections or late payments or inquiries or bankruptcies or loans or judgments, okay, or evictions. So please keep that in mind when you are purchasing this. Okay, so this is where you start. It literally says start here. There's a question. Do you have blatant inaccuracy such as different balances, balance on paid account, past due on paid account, etc.? you very simply choose yes or no. If we choose yes, it's going to tell you to dispute this or these inaccuracies first and use very simple language. Now, let's say that we choose no. No, I really don't have anything that's really sticking out and saying, oh, dispute me first. It shows you step one, take a look at the data last activity. Are there two to three different months and years? Then you're going to choose yes or no. And if you come over here, it's going to show you everything all listed as one. Okay. So here's that first yes or no dispute using very specific language. If I choose no, take a look at the data last activity. Are there two to three different months and years? You're going to choose yes or no. Start with the data last activity. Ask for deletion because there are three different dates last active reported and then list them. Experian, date, Equifax, date, TransUnion, date. Now, if we said no, it's going to say take a look at the data last payment. Are there two to three different months and years? You're going to go yes or no, yes or no, yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. And this is very simply going to walk you through creating your digital dispute workflow. Because if you go and read, think outside the box, it's going to tell you, all right, under the factual dispute part right here, under skeleton logic and factual disputes, that you want to create and map out 10 different dispute rounds. See right here, it says, now you analyze the report and map out 10 rounds. First, 
I dispute using this reason. Second, I use this dispute reason. Third, etc. This way, you'll make sure that you've tracked and mapped out 10 rounds of disputes. Now you have a plan of action for your entire credit report process and you can start writing out your dispute letters. It may sound like a lot of work, but once you map everything out, you'll be able to execute exactly what you're going to do. Okay, so what I want you to do is first go and download your free digital copy of Think Outside the Box. I put a lot of time and effort into this and there's a lot of information in this that's really, truly going to help you. Second, I want you to go and get the digital dispute workflow and start doing your step-by-step -step formula, all right? so. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I do have to catch up on my comments, but as you can see, I am busy, okay? So make sure to go do this. If you have questions, let me know. If not, you can get a hold of me. You can, uh, if you, you know, want to uh, have me do your credit sweep, you can obviously schedule an appointment with me. And if you just have a question or two, you are more than welcome to comment on here or use the live chat on my website, on any of my websites for that matter. Um, the purchase link is actually going to be on my new webinar platform, all right? And it shows you two examples, just like I did, but without the video. And then you would very simply come right here and click on purchase now, all right? So that is it from me to you. I hope you guys enjoy this stuff because, hey, you know, I'm obviously creating this for a reason. I'm creating it because, with my justifier, because my experience will keep you from making the same mistakes that I did. Okay. It took me 15 years to get where I am. It took me 15 years to accumulate all this knowledge and I'm trying to cram it into you in a very short period of time. All right. So once again, let me know if you need help. If not, I will see you guys later.